Hello, welcome to Broken Mind and Growing Confidence, the podcast with funding from the National Lottery and the government. I'm Claire from Positive Life Workshops. I am a guide and a healer. I help people who have struggled with anxiety and depression who want to start living that more positive life. Hi everybody, this week we're going to be talking about meditation. So meditation is a practice that I have used for quite a long time thinking back around about when I was 12 13 years old I remember being laying in bed and struggling to sleep probably for a variety of reasons more than likely something to do with schoolwork and not having the confidence to say what I wanted to say and things like that but I struggled to sleep so my way around getting over that and to actually help myself to get to sleep was to stop thinking about the things that were keeping me awake and at the age of 12 13 my mind decided that if I could concentrate on my breathing instead of all these thoughts that were going around my head that I would be able to kind of take my mind off the things that were bothering me so I would lie there and I would literally think about breathing in and breathing out Now, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know that what I was doing was meditation of any sort. I just knew that I was taking my focus away from the things that were keeping me awake. When I first started, I probably, I was getting quite frustrated. So I would be concentrating on my breathing and I wouldn't want to be concentrating on anything. So then I was thinking that I'm still thinking about my breathing though. So we all have this when we go through the start of meditation this am I doing it right is this right and it's only after kind of talking to people reading books listening to meditations and meditating myself that I've realized that that I've realized that it's it's all a process and it's something that we need to kind of learn step by step the breath is actually the first part of what we need to learn when we're doing meditation to learn to concentrate on our breathing, to take our mind away from the thoughts and to learn to relax our bodies. Now, that's a fantastic tool to have given myself at that age so that when I got into adulthood and I found myself in situations that were causing me not being able to sleep again, then I had this tool that I'd used when I was a child, in my breath, and I used it to, to get me to sleep again, I used the, just the concentrating on my breath, nothing more and nothing less. It was just simple concentrating on the breathing, the breathing in and the breathing out, instead of thinking about all the things that are going on. Just think about breathing in and breathing out, as simple as that. And that's kind of where the meditation practice for me started. After I kind of got back into my sleep again and I wasn't really having trouble with my sleep, I started to come across meditations on YouTube, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. So I tried some guided meditations. Some of them were quite enjoyable. Some of them had really uncomfortable voices to listen to. Some of them I couldn't keep up with what breaths they were telling me to do, and I just kind of felt like I wasn't quite doing it right. I kind of ventured onto different types of meditations so then I went towards affirmation meditations so meditations for confidence and anxiety so meditations that repeat things over and over again while you're in meditation to try and bring it into your to bring to bring it into the upfront of your mind to know that it's possible for you to kind of change the way you think by using affirmations and different words And then I went on to looking at different types of visualisation meditations. And then I discovered shamanic journeying. So when I split up with my ex-husband and I moved in on my own and I started to kind of figure out who I was and what I wanted to do, one of the things I did was a course on shamanism. Now that kind of taught me how to do shamanic journeying. I had my own journey that I went on and I get myself ready in a place with my breaths because I'd learned how to do that previously and I had been using it within the guided meditations and the visualizations and the affirmation meditations there's so much out there it's unbelievable 
it's just kind of finding the ones that will work for you. The shamanic journey kind of starts with my breath. Then I walk through a field into the woods and then into deep into the woods I find an opening and then the opening is a space with some water and a tree and that's my, that's my journey to where I go to within my meditation. Now that's a course that I did but obviously I got distracted by life, by looking after my kids and fell in love again, met Kev, had another child and things happened and I kind of didn't meditate as much as I have been doing. It takes dedication to learn something and we need to learn it step by step like everything else. So I started at the age of 12 and 13 by teaching myself about the breath. And I used that as a tool throughout my life till, till adulthood and in my adulthood and then started meditating. So I already had the main part of what I needed to kind of further my meditation practice so if you're just starting start right at the beginning start with the breaths i've done the anxiety course and I've, there's a couple of different breaths on the anxiety course so there's a triangle and the square breathing now i can post the link to that that's not a problem then there's different breathing techniques all over the internet and this is where I struggled when I kind of went onto YouTube to get those meditations because those meditations were very like you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that and I felt like I wasn't doing it right because I wasn't going with what I wasn't able to keep up with the breath work that they were doing and I've been practicing breath work for quite a bit already so it's important to kind of be kind to ourselves and realise that we don't kind of have to be so strict and guided with it choose what kind of breathing we like and incorporate that into the, one of the meditations that we're listening to. I'm not 100% sure what kind of triggered me to start meditating daily but I decided that I needed to start meditating daily and I started to meditate in the bath every night and it made a huge difference to my life. So first of all I was meditating, doing chakra meditations, healing meditations, grounding meditations. I was using the meditations to help me in the area of my life where I needed help. So if I weren't feeling well, I would use a healing meditation. If I was feeling out of balance and my energies weren't feeling right, I would use a chakra meditation and I started to learn about the chakras. And as you kind of start to learn about each individual thing, it's a process kind of of learning how to meditate you, you start to discover all these things that are out there like you were saying these me these meditations we can use them as tools to help us so we can choose so if i'm full of anxiety i want to choose a meditation that's going to heal me and calm me so i can just go onto youtube and type either a meditation for anxiety or calming healing meditation or a chakra meditation is quite good for, a chakra balancing meditation is quite good for a general healing all over to keep you balanced. And then it was kind of a process of using the meditation to take me away from needing any kind of medications and things like that. The meditations I used as a tool instead of medication and a tool to help me kind of discover what I wanted in life so it was a self-discovery tool I was asking myself questions all the time asking myself questions so kind of I did this and then I kind of went on to do the self-discovery course with Julie Gibbons and then I was asking myself more and more questions and then I went through the chakra meditations the healing and the grounding and and all these meditations and all these tools that I've given myself and all these questions that I'd asked ask myself within meditation, they're the things that have got me to where I am now and they're the things that have helped me change my life from not enjoying it to actually enjoying it. And meditation is one of the big key parts of that. There's a lot of other key parts, but this is probably one of the tools that has got me the furthest and has allowed me to kind of realize what I needed to change and where I need to go. With meditation we've also got things like spirit guides or angels or spirits or God or our higher self. Now what we believe is what we believe and no one's asking us to change our beliefs when we start to meditate. If we're meditating and talking to God then that is fine. 
If we're meditating and talking to our higher selves, that is fine. If we're meditating and talking to our angels, that is fine too. It's whatever your belief is and whatever you feel most comfortable with. So if you're doing a guided meditation and they start to talk about spirits and angels and spirit guides and your higher self, if that to you is God, then use God as that. If that to you is your higher self, then use that as your higher self. It is your choice and your decision. Just because somebody's words are saying something else doesn't mean you have to change your views. And I think that's quite an important part when we're using guided meditations. Now, I say that because I've been doing Jeremiah Scott's meditation after reading his book, The Theory of You, which I will post a link for in the show notes. Jeremiah does panoptic meditation so I changed my meditation practice once I started to once I'd read this book and I started to meditate on my own without any guided meditations using drums and going on the shamanic journey that I'd done previously and speaking to my spirit guides and kind of discovering things about myself but since I started to kind of go down the the route that Jeremiah's book said then I've started to kind of discover more about myself and more about the connection we all have together and there's these little things and symbols and signs and there's lots of bits and pieces going on now for my meditation practice which is absolutely fantastic Um, and I listen to Jeremiah every morning on Facebook does philosophies And it kind of helped me to realise that I've been protecting myself all this time and certain things we do and say can actually stop our progression when we're doing things like meditation and these kind of practices. So it's important that we kind of have people to talk to and places that we can kind of say, this has happened, Uh, what does this mean? From from this podcast, I've decided that I am going to do a four-week meditation session, which will be just £30, and that'll be the first week we'll be doing breath work, the second week will be guided meditation, the third week will be healing, and the fourth week will be self-discovery work. And I'll go through the process of the different meditations that I used, and I will have a bit of a lesson about what we can use what meditation for and if you've got any questions and things like that i can answer them so i hope that has been a useful episode for you any questions feel free to get in touch with myself on the facebook page or via email at positive life workshops at gmail.com bye thanks for listening to broken mind and growing confidence find us on facebook at positive life workshops come and join our facebook group broken mind and growing confidence or the ladies Wellbeing group our anxiety course will be live soon if you're looking to improve your confidence if you're interested in any healing card readings having problems with anxiety or your own confidence feel free to give me a message thanks for listening we'll be here again next thursday goodbye